All right, geeks, unite the clans here back with you for another gorgeous sunrise. Uh, this you may recognize as Nordragar. This is our fifth and final seed spotlight, and I am so stoked that we are finally able to bring that to you. We did episode zero. Uh, Quite a, quite a while back now, almost two months ago, we're just finishing up our fifth and final seed spotlight now. If you don't know, the reason that I am bringing you these seed spotlights is to showcase five amazing seeds. I showed them all off in episode zero, uh, if you haven't watched that. Uh, and every two weeks, I've put out a spotlight for each of the seeds and since the beginning, there has been a poll open on my Google Plus page. Uh, I will give you a link to it now, right up there. Uh, and that will take you to my Google Plus page. The poll is pinned to the top. Or if you want, you can just go down in the, see down there in the description. You, uh, you can go down there and the link at the top of the description will take you directly to the poll. So you won't even have to look for it. This is Nordregar. This is my favorite and it has been my favorite from the beginning. I'll show you a little footage of my exploration of the island uh, in the corner. Um, it, but it's basically an epic frozen continent and in the far north just behind me there, there is an awesome little island at the tip of the continent uh, that is just begging to have like a Viking village built uh, on it. Uh, oh look at the snow. How epic. Now uh, one thing that I'm going to be doing differently in this seed spotlight, in all of the other ones, what I've done is given you a little intro and then I've gone off and done a creative build uh, that's taken me a few hours. That's why I've done it off camera. And, uh, and then I've come back and toured you around the build. And I had somebody say to me like, oh, great build. I could never do that. I'll stick to my dirt houses. And uh, you know what? I think for this fifth and final one, we should do a build along. So with that in mind, I've actually practiced this build. Uh, that way, this uh, episode is not two hours long, like my, two or three hours long, like my builds often are. Uh, and uh, so I know it a little more off by heart. But if I were to take you through the whole thing, we'd still be at it for quite a while. So I'm going to show it to you step by step. Uh, I'm going to show you the step and then I'm going to go off and complete it. Uh, now, I actually laid the foundation around here, but as you can see, it is snowing. And when I do these creative builds, I throw it on peaceful mode, so I just kind of left it here. I know it's around here somewhere. There. Okay. Here we go. So, uh, we are doing a Viking build. Now, I mentioned when I have to come up with the builds all on my own, it takes me a very long time. I like to think I'm a good builder, but I don't know if I'm a genius. Like coming up with good ideas takes me a lot of trial and error. So I'm actually following a tutorial of another YouTuber. Uh, he is bigger than me, but I would say still just starting out around uh, 4,000 uh, subscribers. Been at it for a year or so. Uh, and if you guys want to see more of this style, if you like it, I found it. Uh, I found it on a YouTube channel called Big Bad Bam. Uh, so props to Big Bad Bam uh, for the style. I like it a lot and I could uh, I could see myself building a lot in this style. I've tried to do Viking style builds before and it's never quite uh, never quite gone as smoothly as I hope. Guys, it is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fight this snow. Anyway, you see the layout of the build. It's a little L shape. Now, the one that Big Bad Bam did was much smaller. It was just kind of two of these five by five sections. Uh, and I kind of expanded it. So this one's about twice as big as, uh, as the build I watched him do. I think it's called Small Viking House Tutorial, something like that. Guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to clear away this snow while it's snowing. So uh, I will just, you know what? Screw it. I'll show you step one. Here are materials. Door. We got a lot of spruce, uh, a lot of cobblestone, and then a few other features like uh, the roof is going to be a thatched roof. And then we've got some other details. But I'm going to start us all off. So what you do on each of these pillar spots go up four blocks. Uh, I'm going to do that for all these and I will come back with you guys in just a second. All right, guys, so we've done it. At this point, it should look like this. This is spruce logs and we went four high on each of these spots. You can see the shape really clearly now. 
regardless of the snow. So next step we are going to do is to lay in some cross beams. And again, I'm following uh, a Big Bad Bam's tutorial more or less. Uh, but what you can do with tutorials is you can take the essences of a building style and you can kind of tweak them. Uh, I didn't want to copy. So as much as this is definitely inspired by another YouTuber, uh, you know, I have tweaked this build to be kind of unique. Uh, this is not a block for block recreation. So guys, you could take this and honestly, once you know the basics of this style, you could build a lot of buildings. And actually, he's got a series going now on Viking build styles. This isn't even someone I know. I actually asked him a question on Twitter and he hasn't got back to me yet uh, where I was a little bit confused. So I don't really know the guy. I don't know if he'll even know that I am using his style for this build guide. But uh, nonetheless, uh, it is much appreciated. So the next step, guys, is uh, to start off these walls. So I'll take us over here. I'll grab everything we need. So we are going to need uh, spruce. Uh, we are going to need uh, full cobble blocks. Yep. Uh, we're going to need glass. I went with the light gray. And we're going to need... I think that's it for now. Uh, so I'll show you the basics of the wall, and they're all pretty much the same. So you go cobble along the bottom, one, two, three, and then basically an upside down U shape here of spruce wood, and you throw your, you throw your window in there. The only difference is where you're going to put your door, which I suppose is something I should grab. And while we're at it, let's grab a torch to put over said door, because it's getting dark. Uh, so, uh, when you've got the door, now you can see I did spruce wood all along here. Uh, I think that it'll look pretty good uh, when we're done. So two of those, and then again, same upside down U shape. All right, and we'll throw the door in from this side so it's flush. Uh, and you can see that's how that would look. And we're going to have space, I believe. Uh, actually... We'll just do that there. Guys, I'm going to build walls like this. They won't all have torches uh, in each of these spots. And uh, thought about doing the fireplace. The tutorial I saw had a fireplace, but it wasn't really a functional one. There's so much wood in this build that you couldn't actually build one in survival without some major changes. So I don't think we're going to go with one. Uh, so I'll just lay out each of the walls, except for this one, to look exactly like this. And I'll be back with you in one second. Rocking and a rolling, can you hear your mama call? So guys, this is looking pretty simple at this point. This is probably something most people could do. Uh, the next step comes here. We are adding dimensions uh, to these walls. And we'll start by adding a second set of pillars on the outside of all the existing pillars. Uh, and on the corners, do it like that, like an L shape. And uh, in the middle here, real simple. Uh, you just want to do this. There's only one really tricky spot, but I'll show you that when I'm done. I'm going to go finish this up here, guys. I mean, that should do it. All right, geeks. It is clearly a blizzard. Uh, you know, I'm glad it, it is snowing as much as it is here. This will definitely help capture that Skyrim-esque feel. We're not there yet, though. We definitely have quite a bit to do. So check this out. You will see I have gone ahead and put these pillars on each corner and the next step is one personally I would not have thought of so where we set our original pillars actually go up a fifth block and out from that two <clears throat> and we we're gonna do that everywhere we had an original pillar uh, so I'll finish this up be with you guys in one second all right guys so we're quickly getting covered in snow I may turn it to daytime uh, as it's gotten quite dark and I want you guys to be able to see this uh, that snow is bothering you can basically see it we have gone up in each of the spots and where possible we have built these out at a right angle uh, the only spot that doesn't really get it is this one uh, because there are walls on both these sides and the idea is to go out away from the building uh, so this one just bump it up one now the next step again is one I would not have thought of so we are going to be building a second set of cross beams we're going to be building them above and one out from where we started uh, just just I like that all right be back with you in one sec so guys there's one thing I did not mention and that is uh, this is a tricky corner this is actually the one I think the one that I tweeted uh, the guy who's a tutorial I'm following about just plop a block down here and plop one on top of it 
and knock it out. And we're actually going to do the same thing on all these corners. Uh, so one can go here, one can go here. Be back with you guys in another second. All right, guys, I've added in a few torches here just to keep this fricked up snow out of here. I'm not much of a Minecraft cheater. I don't, I don't know all those cheat codes. I, let's, let's try it. We're back. I'm a genius. I've figured it out. So the next step, guys, we have added some serious dimension to our walls. They were one block thick and now they are three. Uh, and you know, that is something, you know, I really saw Minecraft building. Uh, take a huge leap when people started adding this kind of depth even to small buildings like this uh, So we have got some detail to do on these walls and I'm gonna talk you through everything we need now I know we need uh, This we need this We need this we also need a half slab uh, Yeah, let's do that. What else? What am I forgetting here? Uh, yeah uh, you know what? I think we got it all. So, uh, there are two things we're going to be doing. We're going to be adding detail right in here, uh, and we're going to be adding some detail to these sort of supports for these pillars. Uh, so, the first step you want to do is at the very top of this last layer of spruce wood, we want a layer of spruce wood planks, and we fill that in with spruce wood stairs. Uh, oh, if we can figure out how. So that is one layer of detail we will be doing. Uh, we also want to go around and at the base of every uh, wall on either side of the window want a stair. So based on the tutorial, if I'm remembering properly, you go with a stair. And we'll do that on both sides just so my brain doesn't go crazy at the lack of symmetrical symmetry, not symmetricality or symmetricness. So uh, stone fence right here. A cobble fence right here and right here and then you fill in this gap with uh, some spruce fence post and I thought that was one of the best touches the thing that really sold me on the uh, on the tutorial and the style I really like the way that looks I really think it's tremendous uh, so we're gonna be doing this on every wall uh, you guys got a little bit of work to do if you are playing along and uh, so do I so I'm gonna go do that It'll probably be sunset by the time I get back to you, but for you guys, just a second. So I'll be back. So geeks, with this done, uh, I think the lower layer is mostly done. Uh, at some point, we'll have to go in there and do the floors, but I think the time has come to check out the roofs. So this is where some of your own personal style will come in. But uh, the tutorial sort of had you guys go uh, like this. Real simple, little A-frame like that. Now you could leave it like that, but the tutorial said knock out these right here. All right, so step one is that. Now, it's really up to you where you do these. Uh, now for me, uh, so I did those, I did this one here, uh, so I'm finish the whole thing but uh, then you can also go in and add them where you see fit now I went over the door uh, it shocked me at first that you would do this and not make it symmetrical that you would not have one also over there and also over there but it actually works pretty well to do one just about here oh wait that is that right yeah so I'll, uh, I'll finish these up here, guys, and be back in one second. So there you go, guys. So these ones that we placed in the corners here, you're starting to see those act as part of the wall. So once you've got this done, we run cross beams, basically, uh, until they would meet. So we'll run these long ones across, like that, and then shorter ones like that to meet it. All right, ta-da. So that's how it sounds. Now, you're also going to want to run them back from each of these. Now, that is because we are going to be placing uh, hay blocks on top. And hay blocks are like these logs here in that uh, they, depending on what you place them against, they will face a different way. Like, I can't make a log line at side by placing it here. I'd have to do that. So to get the roof the way we want it, we're going to lay in a sort of a, a 
a support system uh, from these blocks here and uh, we'll just fill up the whole roof and then I'll, I'll also show you the arches uh, that will go on the ends here so uh, be back in one sec so that is what this is going to look like guys don't worry too much about symmetry which direction they face because uh, most of these will be coming out uh, now the next step involves uh, the roof and so for that we have to take these is that spruce come on yeah spruce wood stairs okay and then what we're doing is basically like a, a, a sort of a, I think it's called gingerbread uh, in architecture but you're basically gonna build a layer like this right on top of the logs but the one that we really want uh, is gonna be just one out from the logs. so once you've laid that knock out the one that you used to put it into place there um, and you'll see oh I'm a fool you see when we get there uh, exactly why uh, it's important to do it like this so the next one goes here uh, and then we'll build one here build out from that here build out from that and even down here so that doesn't look too good you got to fill in the gaps here with the old upside down stair one of the the greatest things ever added to minecraft gives you so much freedom uh, to kind of add architectural detail so we are going to do this basically on every arch and I'll uh, come back to you guys when I have done that. If you guys are like me, you probably missed uh, some spots. So uh, go back and double check your work. And then once you've got all that done, we basically uh, finish. You know, we kind of connect these together. These ones kind of connected of their own accord. But uh, in general, just place that here. And where you have these cross beams sticking out, we'll leave them. Uh, that is a big part of the detail of this build is that you can kind of you can kind of see uh, structural support throughout the entire thing it's always put me off when people make these sort of gravity defying minecraft builds all right so cleared up a little bit of that uh, so with this done guys we actually are, are getting quite close to the finish I'm going to show you how to make these look Viking because at the moment yeah that looks maybe medieval but uh, you haven't added that touch of style so a full block on top uh, and then we're gonna go with upside down and upside down and then on top of those you know right way upstairs but facing the opposite direction and we're gonna back up and take a look tell me that don't look pretty Viking I like the looks of that it is starting to get dark uh, so I'm gonna finish these up before nightfall and I'll uh, reset it to morning before you guys get back all right so we are done there each peak has got a sort of uh, Viking touch to it uh, so now we actually get into the roof and the roof is made entirely of thatch so for that we are using hay bales this is what a lot of medieval roofs uh, look like and were made of now for you guys if you have texture packs this is really gonna pop I watched the tutorial done in texture pack uh, but in vanilla I mean this block is just a little too yellow uh, so if I were doing a big Viking village I'd probably be playing in a texture pack uh, with shaders the whole time so just had to take a look at it from a distance here guys the the kind of pattern of the roof is a bit hard to get down at first but what you want to do is basically go like this against every stair and then for this bottom row to sort of form a border you just keep going now of course here we're against the stairs so you do it like that like that and like that so for the rest of this build you kind of don't want the orangey part facing out it's just kind of a muted brown in a lot of the good medieval looking texture packs but uh, for this we want the ends sticking out so do this all the way around uh, and then in the corners go vertical and that is basically how we do it all around and have I messed that up no I okay I just had to go check my practice build uh, so what you've basically got guys is you've got this trim that we've added to the roof you've got that kind of holding back the thatch I think it's a good look so I'm gonna repeat this pattern all over and then I will show you how we do the finishing touch the crowning the the peak of the roof. 
Be right back. I should have uh, showed you guys. This is a tough little corner. Uh, just pick a side that you want to be dominant. We're, we're gonna pick. Uh, we're gonna pick the one over our front door here, right? Is that the front door? Yes. So I would say go in first. Do it. Ready? Like that. And then this one obviously is gonna lose out there. But here it'll get to go, and then so we've got that trim all along the outside. So this is pretty simple. One, two, because those are in the corners, and then for these, stick them out. And so from ground level, this actually, you know, it seems like you're seeing a lot of the orange, but down here you really don't uh, see that much of it. You get the border, which is cool, and then you get sort of a the the bulk of the roof. So like I said, I will uh, do what I said I was going to do a minute ago, and I'll finish this up. Yeah, I think that's how you do it. We got everywhere. It seems like we have. So now, guys, there's one important step left, and that is going to involve these spruce steps and the spruce half planks. So uh, if you go back and play some Skyrim, you'll notice that a lot of buildings have this sort of dragon tooth type pattern along the ridge. So we are basically going to do that. So starting, you know, uh, standing on top of one of these ornamental peaks here and facing into the center of your house place these so that you do get a little gap uh, between that full block and this step and then where these meet we're going to go with the half slab so i'll fill this out and i'll be right back this is what she's gonna look like so there are a few finishing touches you guys can see you can see out in here and we really have done nothing with the interior the quick fix for uh these is actually to go in and instead of placing a spruce block right there place it one back again picked up in the tutorial so you do that for all of them like i said i followed a tutorial from a youtuber called big bad bam you want to check out the way he does viking style interiors he has a whole building series on it what i'm thinking now is that this build is pretty fricked up done so that is kind of neat. I kind of like the way that this kitchen turned out, little dining area. Didn't do anything with this section, but staircase leads upstairs. We got a little wardrobe. We've got a writing desk. This could use a potted plant, but whatever. And then we've got a bedroom. So I think this build looks pretty fricked up cool. I'm gonna head outside, guys. I'm gonna make it sunrise or sunset, whichever one looks the grandest. And I will be with you guys again in one moment. This build, I have decided, looks best at night. I am pretty happy with that. So thank you to Big Bad Bam, whose tutorial I followed and improvised from. And hopefully, now that we've done a build along, you guys can build this for yourselves. This has been Nordragar, my personal favorite of our five seeds. And this is the final seed spotlight. One week from today, the poll on my Google Plus page will close and whichever seed has the most votes i will begin a let's play series there june 1st hope y'all have loved these seed spotlights and i hope you guys will tune in to episode one tell your friends but do me a favor head over to the poll uh, on my google plus page there's the link and vote for your favorite i don't think i thought to tell you guys the seed at the beginning so i'll probably have thrown it up on the screen during the edit but the seed is right there I am Unite the Clans. This has been the final Seed Spotlight. One week from today, the poll will end and I will begin a Let's Play in the Seed that wins that poll. So make your vote count. Head over to my Google Plus page right now. Uh, I love you guys for watching this and I cannot wait to bring you Mo Minecraft. Hopefully, Minecraft on the daily, on the semi-daily at least. Like I said, thank you for watching, geeks. I will see all y'all in Minecraft episode frickin' one. Can't wait.